I was talking to this friend of mine I've known since she was uh, uh, about 16 or 17 years old. We, uh, my band uh, uh, called Omaha played uh, her senior prom, and uh, she was a good friend of Elvis's somehow. She hung out at his house all the time. And she told me the other day that she was sitting there talking to Elvis, and she, she noticed he had something around his neck. And she said, Elvis, is that a star, a star of David around your neck? And he goes, yeah. She said, why are you wearing that? You're not Jewish. He goes, well, I don't want to get left out of heaven on a technicality. Pretty funny. <laughs> he has great stories. I like that. I don't want to get left out of heaven on a technicality, baby. <laughs> Charlie, my black bag. While we're talking Elvis, yeah. can I get you to tell your Elvis story? Really? Okay. I've told the story. Everybody asked me about this. This is, it's, this really happened. It's really true. I was about 10 years old, and there's a, a drugstore. Well, it, they called it a drugstore, but it sold a lot of different things over on Lamar Avenue across from Thornton's Donuts, and it was called Cat's Drugstore. Okay, we're in the store, my mother, my stepdad, and my cousin, Lynn. And uh, we're walking around through the store, you know, and this Lynn walks around on the other aisle away from us and comes running back around, and my mother's name is Dorothy, and she says, Dorothy, there's a guy over here who looks just like Elvis. And so my mother's right. So she walks around, she goes, It is Elvis, 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 Elvis. The whole store heard her. It was over for him to do any kind of private shopping, you know, because so everybody was following him from that moment on. So it was, it was pretty funny. So he, he goes down to the basement where they sold exotic animals. Don't ask me, but they were selling like lion cubs and pythons, all kinds of stuff. That was a weird place. And uh, he was actually trying to get a lion cub out of uh, one of the cages and they couldn't get it out. And so I was standing like right beside him and he leans over on my shoulder like this and I'm going, oh God, if I move, Elvis is going to fall over if I move. And he leans over and says, you think I ought to get that? And I went, uh-huh. And uh, they never got it because they couldn't get it out of the cage. but. I didn't get his autograph. My cousin got his autograph, and I'm standing there like, I can't move. The elves will fall. You know, I was a stupid 10-year-old kid, you know. But anyway, that, that was a—he was on his motorcycle, actually, you know, the, uh, in the old days when he wore his motorcycle cap. And I remember he had on a sweater with the sleeves cut out, you know, and the little things down the arms. I remember exactly what he was wearing, the motorcycle. The only thing I don't remember, which I cannot believe it, is who the girl was. I didn't look at her hardly. You know, it could have been Natalie Wood for all I know. <laughs> but, you know, hey, it's Elvis. What are you going to look at a girl for? You got Elvis Presley standing there, man. Hound dog, you know. The king, baby. Like, hang on, rock and roll. 